wonderful job that was. Welcome to the match number five, Brampton Bulls v Toronto Nationals. Both teams coming off a win in the last game, but the question is, who will be the better side this afternoon? Time will twirl. It's time for the toss in match number five of the Canada GT20. Mr. Harry Haran Krishna is the match referee who will oversee the toss. David Warner, Brampton Wolves, and then the Toronto Nationals, Colin Monroe. Who's got the... Oh, David, you've got it. Heads is the call. And it's a tail. That's a tail. All right, David, won the toss. What are you looking to do? Yeah, looking at a bat first. Why, David? Um, look, I just think, you know, if you can put runs on the board and a competitive total um, with a wicket that sort of, you know, it looked like this morning it was seeming around a little bit. Um, but, you know, if you put a good total on the board, you hopefully win defence, I think. I got it wrong there when I said hi to you. Was it a couple of days off or was it one day off? And what have you guys been up to? One day off uh, and it was a total day off. So, um, yeah, it was nice just to get out and go and see some, some of Toronto. But, uh, yeah, back to game day now, so I've got to switch on. Right, news out in the middle is that the Brampton Wolves have won the toss and they want to have a bat first. Thanks, Ed. Yeah, that's very interesting. Batting first after winning the toss. Here's a look at the uh, Wolves lineup, and uh, that's an interesting call for them just to recap. Berendorf it is, a little bit of swing as well from Berendorf and that's gone down to that vacant third region, nice and fine, for four. And also maybe the low bounce, there's an edge and out. Presses with his front foot and just pushes back and he's a bit nowhere and runs that straight into first slip. It's a nice neat catch from uh, Nicholas Curtin. Got him, bowled him. Swing up front and again stuck in the crease. Not what you want to get first up. Punch in the covers, nicely fielded. Now they're going upstairs, this one as well. They're celebrating the middle. Chand is uh, the keeper. He thinks they've got him. Stuff here for him. Brilliant bit of fielding. Gets back up onto his knees quickly. Good throw. Johnson's got to go. Johnson's got to go. Yeah, that tells us that he hasn't got that bat behind the line. Going over the top and he's hit that beautifully for six runs but there's a little bit of width and that's all webster needs as far as an invitation goes oh that's extra bounce in the air for a while curtain takes another catch we'll try and win the 100 meters for the united states in the olympic games he'd have some serious competition with this fella curtain because he is real pacey to get there is one thing to hold on to the ball is another United. Burned off to continue. It's cut away. It'll be a boundary. Where do you muster that sort of ability to build a partnership? But a welcome boundary. That's massive. I think that's going to hit a tree. Oh no, it's just short. About that shot was how quickly he managed to pick that length on a difficult pitch. And off she goes out of the park. Heaved away, shoveled away for a boundary. Trying to get inside the line of the ball. That should be four runs. It is. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's bold. Is it just a little undercutter? Yeah, it just hits the shiny side and skids on. Nothing wrong with the surface there, Nick Hobson. Straight down the ground. And it's out. Oh, Webster, what have you done? You've just lost Nick Hobson. Well, forget about that. Forget about getting accustomed to conditions. Just dunk one for six. What a shot that was. Big strike. Flipped away, flipped away, all the way. And uh, it's the line, it's the length. But this young man, I tell you what, he played an innings of substance a couple of days ago. And he knew he had the distance right there. 130 quite easily. 
This might be a no ball for Height and all. Oh, they'll have to check the boundary for a clean catch. The man from uh, Nepal. Cool, calm, collected. Thank you very much. That time there. Cotton bold. Shepard underneath it. He's quicker than you think, Romario Shepard. He's got the ability to bowl upwards of 90 mile an hour when he really clicks into gear. This is a heavy length, hard length, not letting the batter. Ah, oh, solid shots. Oh, that's through. Just bobbed over, I think, that uh, leg in the end from Munro. And it's gone for four. Got him. Bowled him. Top of off stump. Just been around a long time. Very skillful. He's got enough pace. Gets through the defences. Oh, that's clubbed. That's hit a long way. That's a terrific shot. Has the wind. The difference of that ball to the previous ball that the batter missed, straighter. That's clubbed. But straight of the fielder, not so sure. It's going to be tough from here. Off cutter from Jade Siddiqui, rolling his fingers down the side of it. Colin Monroe's had a difficult day in the field, pouches. And 110 all out, that's disappointing. Toronto, excellent with ball and generally very good in the field. The Wolves have not got too many runs. 25 to Webster, 21 to Hobson, all out for the Brampton Wolves. Well, not a great deal to write home about Nick Hobson and Bo Webster, 40, but pedestrian, and then Akil and Jarvis, 33 off 30. The only two meaningful partnerships. Six bowlers used. Beridoff, excellent, but he has an injury. Toronto Nationals, that's what they need. 1-1-1. One, one, one. They've got 20 overs because there's plenty of blue sky, and they need to go at just a shade over five and a half runs per over. Any swing around a little bit shorter that time that's cracked away the feeling he was waiting for something marginally shorter than those uh, previous two that's beautifully played beautifully oh that's a very good catch Webster Bo Webster in his follow-through had to go down low and he snapped with that. That's a fine grab. Munro's a big player and he's now gone. Just hit a boundary, Colin Munro, and he's just checked this. What a catch. Diving effort. Let's pick that up over the top. And it's going to run away off the hard ground. And it is four. Beautiful shot that. One bounce and that's gone for four. And we now into the final over of the power play. A very angry young man after getting hit in the previous delivery. Now he goes through that offside, through that offside. There's no protection out there. Fortunate, 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 but they'll take him. That's out the ground. That's a little pickup, isn't it? After winning that under-19 World Cup for India, but since then, just lost his way a little bit, moved to the US. And that's gone fine. They can't get deep third fine enough, can they? Oh, that's the shot of the day. That's a really good shot. Four runs. Again, some really good footwork. Swept. Fine. Down the ground. Beats the fielder. A very good looking shot from Unmok Chan. And that's going to be a wicked. Soft dismissal. Good catch. The big man. Toe of the bat. Gets his leap just about right and. Takes a sting out of it, but uh, does it have enough to go for a boundary? Yes, it has. It was Apesh. Evades the field up. It'll be four. It'll be two milestone. He will go to 50. And he's played perfectly.
in his role, 50 or 40, and uh, the Nationals win by eight wickets. Yeah, the Wolves will look back at this and think, well, yeah, our batting wasn't quite there. We didn't quite give uh, what is the potent batting uh, lineup just enough time to really get into the contest. But well, for the Nationals, they march on. Have a look at the batting card. Monroe misses out today. He gets 11 off nine. And Chan, 53 off 40. Held it nicely together with great elegance to get into his work. The partnership that stands out is 79 off 59 for the second wicket. They didn't have much to defend, did they? The Brampton Wolves. So Jarvis is one for 16 or three. He will be uh, he will be happy with his little run out. A summary from match number five. Wolves won the toss, batted first, and they had all sorts of trouble. Four wickets inside the power play at one stage, 40 for four. 111 for two. Emulated what they did a few days ago, in fact, against the, the Vancouver Knights. And they do it emphatically.